coming up on Backyard Science, constructing a gravity-defying roller coaster. Hi, gang. Marbles again? I think it's time we tried something a bit more cool. I reckon we could make a marble do a complete loop through the air. Let's make a really big roller coaster. Come on! All we need is some piles of books, some thin cardboard, masking tape and scissors. Right, team. Let's cut the cardboard into strips. About two fingers wide should do it, and as long as your forearm. They can be joined together to make curves in the longer track. And we can start stacking these books into piles. They'll be our hills and valleys. Don't stop now. This is going to be the coolest roller coaster ever. Well, I can't wait to see how that roller coaster is coming along. Right, these cardboard strips are going to be our tracks. They're bent in the middle so our marble will stay on course. Now let's start joining our tracks together. Stick them down so they don't wobble all over the place. We need to make some serious ups and downs here. If this is going to be the roller coaster ride of the century, the sky's the limit. Hills, valleys, curves, turns. Keep going till we run out of ideas. Or oh, cardboard. Time for a test run. Hmm. The hardest part might be the hill climb. Our marble is going to need some oomph. Maybe it needs more of a run up. Stand back. Wow, it sure goes. Looking good, gang. More turns and curves than you can poke a stick at. How cool is it? And now for the ultimate roller coaster experience, our 360 degree death defying loop. Go designers! You'll need tape and more cardboard and, yes you've done it, a super loop. Now for the big finish. A ramp at the end, so the marble flies right off the track. Good job you design supremos. Right, now let's see what happens at the bottom. Oh, we're going to need something to catch our marble. Grab a can. Now just put the can at the end. Not quite. Good try. Yes. Now a test drive for our very own Backyard Big Dipper. <laughs> Speaking of heart pumping action, I think it's time we headed back to the roller coaster where that marble is getting ready to roll. Drivers, in your seats. We're almost set for the first ever attempt at the gravity defying Backyard Big Dipper. Five, four, three, two, one, take off! Great start. Up the hill with ease. Cornering beautifully. Will it make the loop? Yes! Now the tunnel. Yes! Down the back straight. And into the can. Yeah! Yeah! Once a smooth round object like the marble starts rolling, it'll keep going unless something stops it. The marble has what's called inertia. The only thing to slow the marble down are other forces like friction, which slows the marble as it runs along the track, or the force of gravity, which slows the marble as it goes uphill. Well, with the success of our Backyard Big Dipper, I think we're a force to be reckoned with. Oh, that's it. I'm off to make my own Rage and Roller Coaster. That marble was really going. Sure was. And it's time we were going too, because we've reached the end of another Backyard Science. Bye, Bye for now. now.